Okay, we are back with another episode of Dear Tabby, the Cat Advice Show. I'm your host, Kristen Levine from the Pet Living Blog. That is the lifestyle blog for the pet obsessed. And joining me again for Dear Tabby is Dr. Liz Bales. Hey, Doc. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. And if you're just joining us, if you haven't seen our, our Dear Tabby videos before, Dr. Bales is a veterinarian who's dedicated her career to making life better for cats which is why she's perfect for Dear Tabby. And she's also an inventor. So I'll tease that and we'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Um, so the way this works is people write in the questions that about problems they're having with their kitties and we try to answer them all. Um, we do our very best. And this one today is actually a question that I have too. So I'm gonna be taking notes and, and paying close attention, Doc. All right, Dear Tabby, my cat is bored. I go to work for, I'm gone for 10 hours a day and I don't know what to do to keep her from being bored. How, oops, how can we help? So, your cat is like most cats in America and they are bored out of their minds. Mm. So we recommend keeping them indoors. You know, outside there's cars, there's other cats to fight with or get sick sure. from. There's, there's so many reasons to keep them inside, but inside they really have nothing to do all day except sleep and wait for their next meal. So um, let's talk about what you can do. So when you're home, you want to find a way to have active play engaging with them. So um, my favorite is one of these with my cat Carlos is uh, one of these Fishing pole toys. Yep. This is not Carlos. Carlos isn't quite as cute, but we love him anyway. Um, <laughs> Hope he's not watching. So, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Carlos. So cats, um, playing with a cat isn't always what you think. You don't really need to have, you know, 20 minutes or half an hour, an hour and, and play on and on. Cats like playing in short bursts. So even if you schedule two five minute play sessions with your cat a day, that is a win. Two, just two five minute sessions. That's five minutes sessions. that. One before you go to work and one at some point when you get home in the evening is really great. If you want to do more than that, mm -hmm. these five minute sessions, that's great. But if you can commit to two a day, you are winning. So um, get your favorite toy, take your five minute play session to really want to recreate the hunt. You know, do those short jerking motions with the feather toy and that cats like to skitter around. Um, you kind of want to be moving away from your cat, like prey would be running away from a cat. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen people play with these kind of toys and they kind of poke their cat at it. Mm -hmm. Prey doesn't usually come up, like a mouse doesn't come up usually. Right. And when you're playing with your cat uh, is how you finish your play session. Okay. So when we're playing with our cat, we're recreating the hunt. So they're in a heightened state of arousal, um, which is kind of a cool science word. I want to show you this diagram here. So in nature, cats will hunt, catch their prey, then play with their prey, and that's what we're recreating. Okay. Um, and in, place, in this sort of phase of the circle, they are in this heightened state of arousal. Then they're going to eat their prey, and that makes them know this is over, I can relax, and now it's time to groom and take a nap before it's time to start this over again. That's so so when we play, right? So, so are we, you saying that after you play, let's say you're, you're using a feather wand, after you play, should you give them something to eat or like what? You're a genius. That's exactly <laughs> right. So I can read. A kibble of, <laughs> even a kibble of food or their favorite treat or whatever you want to do when the play session is over, let them actually catch the toy spend them uh, a few minutes or seconds or whatever with the toy and then give them a treat so yeah. they know this is over for for really alert cats and uh, um you might have a behavior problem because you finish playing and then don't let them know it's over and they stay like that and then they're more likely to go shred the drapes or attack their brother i see yeah that makes a lot of sense huh. so this is the other thing that we can use to our advantage we know that in nature, cats actually spend 80% of their waking hours hunting for food. Re hunting? 80%? 80% of their waking hours. And they sleep a lot, right? Okay, yeah. So maybe 16 or upwards of 16 hours a day. Right. But 
if they're awake, most likely they're hunting. So you can recreate that hunt for your cat when you're not home. A bowl of food is really a waste. Um, a cat never in nature walks up to a bowl of food. <laughs> There's no challenge there. <laughs> They're not sitting around in the middle of the, of the forest or the you know, urban, urban jungle. Um, so if you can recreate that hunt, and uh, that I actually invented these little guys. I so love those guys. This is the indoor hunting feeder where you can take your portions of food, forget that bowl, in the morning before you go to work, you're gonna take three portions of food, hide it in three mice, and then you hide the mice around the house. Right. Now when you're gone, your cat actually gets to use its sense of smell like it would in nature and creep around and find its prey and then empty that little portion of food and have that appropriate, you know, ping pong ball sized mm -hmm. meal, size of a mouse. Right. Uh, and so you can use meal time to engage them and keep them from getting bored while you're gone. You don't need to be there. That's great. And you were in a different episode when we were talking about cats that didn't get along so well. Um, and you talked about having separate and um, what was it? Separate resources? Multiple and separate resources. Multiple and separate resources. So you would want to, prov if you had two cats or more cats, you would want to provide more of those in different areas of the home, right? That's exactly right. So um, we recommend at least three per cat twice a day. Um, and they come in a kit of three, so it's one one box per cat. But the more the better, really. Mm -hmm. um, the in separate locations of the house, you know, uh, the, you could even put just one little piece of freeze dried chicken in there. You don't need a lot. What you need yeah. is that they're actually getting to recreate that hunt as many times as they can, and then have that tiny little food reward. Uh, and that's what it is nature's way of keeping cats happy, healthy mentally stimulated, physically exercising is hunting. That is awesome. You know, dare I say, you're lifting the veil on the mystery of cats. <laughs> <laughs> this is great Very stuff, exciting. I love it. Um, so, okay, so that's awesome, awesome advice um, for, uh, for bored cats. And that doesn't replace the playtime that you should have in the morning and at night, just the five minutes each time, do both. Um, I was just gonna say, if you uh, like this video, share it with your cat-loving friends, and please submit your questions. We just might get to one of yours and answer it online here. If we do, we'll be sure to tag you. Um, in the meantime, thanks to World's Best Cat Litter for sponsoring our Dear Tabby series. You can check out their all-natural litter that is made from corn at worldsbestcatlitter.com. And if you'd like to check out those adorable little mice, the little feeders, you can, you can learn more there at Dr. Bale's website, docandphoebe.com. So, meow for now. We'll see you later. Meow for now.